Hello everybody and welcome back to Skip Allen Paints and to the YouTube channel of Skip Allen. Okay, this is the fourth video in a series of videos about how I set up my Wacom uh, Cintiq 24-inch HD Touch. Um, but remember, if you're working with your with an Intuos 4, Intuos 5, Intuos 5 Plus, um, or the various Cintiqs, Intuos Pro, you should be able to follow along because all of this is very similar. Now we're going to start with my grip pen, but before we start there, I'm reminding you that you need to have you need to have active whatever Wacom device you have that you're trying to set up. It's possible to set up more than Wac one Wacom device to a computer. I, for a while, had my Intuos 5 set up here as well. So be sure if you have more than one device that you have the right one selected. You want to make sure that you're the right item that you want to uh, program. In this case, the grip pen is selected. And then in applications, as I mentioned in the first video, I d will do all of mine in all. But if you would like uh, to have different settings set up for different applications, that's very easy to do with the Wacom Tablet Properties. You would come over here. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. You would come over here to this plus right here and you click on plus. Then what you want to do is look for your different applications. So if I click on Painter 201564 and say OK, that's brought Painter in. If I click on Photoshop, uh, no, I want Photoshop. Actually, Photoshop. Uh, and click OK. That's brought in Photoshop. OK, so now if I've got multiple applications, I want to be sure that I'm in the right application to uh, program whatever device I'm trying to program. Now, as I mentioned earlier, is I really don't need Photoshop and Painter as separate entities. So if I click on the negative, I can delete Photoshop. And again, on the negative, I can delete Painter 2015. One thing to bear in mind, though, let's go ahead and add Painter 2015 back. If you go to the next device, it is not, it doesn't have Painter 2015 in it. So you have to be sure and set up 20, Painter 2015 or Photoshop for each one of the devices that you have, because when you go down the line, they're going to disappear. So, um, let me delete these again because I'm only interested in working in all. Okay, so now we're back to the grip pen. <clears throat> now, for the most part, I leave pen tip feel, uh, maximum pressure, double click distance, and so forth alone. If I were working in Photoshop, though, I would have to work somewhat with this tip feel to get a very good uh, pressure sensitivity with Photoshop. You don't need it in Painter, so I, I stay away from it. Tilt sensitivity is sometimes helpful. You know, uh, that 2B pencil where we're holding the pencil, uh, the stylus to the side, so it's like you're uh, drawing with the side of the lead of a 2B pencil. Well, this sensitivity can uh, increase the ability to, to, to work with that side of that pen. So if you're having trouble with um, tilt sensitivity, try changing that. Now, the eraser, I leave just as is. That's the tip end of the uh, stylus, the grip tin, and not the nib end, but the other end. And then calibrate. This is really only for the Cintiq, uh, but I do calibrate um, my uh, pins uh, for sure. And the way you, you calibrate it is you just click on calibrate, and that brings up these dots or these points, these little cardinal plus marks in the four ends. And that tells you if your uh, cursor is connected or right aligned to your pen. In my case, it's OK. So now that's calibrated. But I come back to pen because I want to program something very important. You have a clicker switch on both the grip pen and the art pen. 
And that clicker switch, it's like a rocker switch, actually. It rocks toward the nib or rocks back toward the eraser. So what I did is I, I programmed that back end for undo because I like to use undo and uh, it's easy to click that back uh, rocker to undo. To do that, you go keystroke, then you come up to your pointing device to click OK to accept or cancel and blah, blah, blah. And what we want to do is add our keystroke to this. So if I come over here and I look under Edit, I will see that Undo Brush Stroke is Control plus Z. So if I come back to my Wacom, Control plus Z is what I have. Now, what I let me take that out and, and add it again for you because this is kind of important when you're working in the keystroke. If I wanted to delete that, I don't want to hit the Delete button or the Backspace button because all that's going to do is add whatever keystroke that I'm making into there. Now I can delete and that will delete the last one I put in or I can clear and it will clear everything. So once it's clear, I wanted to put in Control plus Z and when I hold down Control plus Z, it pops into place. If you're on a Mac, that would be Command plus Z. And then you want to type in here the name of the command, in this case, undo. And we say OK. So that's all in the world I needed to do with my keystroke uh, to assign the undo command. But what I want on the other end of the rocker is the radial menu. The way the radial menu works is it pops up wherever your cursor is. So, I, you know, if I click uh, for this button, the radial menu is going to pop up right under my pen and I'm not going to have to move around and, and search it out or find it and so forth. I can I can really click it quickly. So how do we get the radial menu there? We click on the down arrow and you have all of these options that you can use. In this case, we want to use radial menu. And so that's well, all you do is you click on radial menu and the rest is done for you. OK, now I did the same thing for the art pen. So I've got undo and radial pen. Now I will tell you, I have two art pens and two grip pens. <laughs> Uh, I know that sounds crazy, but there's it's really kind of fun to work with multiple pens, and I'll show you why. So let's minimize this, and we'll come over to Painter. So right now I have one grip pen in my hand, and if I begin to paint with it, it's painting with this brush called Funky Line. It's a, a brush that I had created. Now if I get my other grip pen and bring it over... Uh, which is this one. When I touch to the canvas, notice that my brush changed and look, the color and everything else has changed to that brush. Switch to the other pen and I have this. Go back to the other pen and I have that. So it's just a way of being able to work quickly with multiple pens in Painter. It's, um, I like to be able to work fast, especially when I'm not demonstrating. So that's why I have two pens. Now, does the undo work? Yep. See, just click, 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 and you can undo uh, very quickly. Add back, undo, switch pens, undo, or I can rocker click the one, uh, click on the end that's closest to the tip. And there you go, you get your radial menu. And we'll talk a lot about the radial menu in a few minutes. So regardless of the pen, I click there and I get my radial menu. Okay, that's it for this part. And let's, I'll be back uh, in a few minutes to st talk, start talking about Express Keys. Okay, bye-bye.